Hey there, it's Patmos and nice of you to join me as we are going to make a brand new first look video with a game called Depraved. You can't see the title here anywhere, but that's the game title. And it's about the Wild West where we have to settle some colonists and build a nice town. There'll be Indians, bandits and all bad stuff. So let's just jump into one of the games. This is the... Uh, biggest map we can get so let's make the biggest map difficulty normal we have aggressive animals bandits native americans and wild animals breed so that's interesting let's hit next here we can get uh, a randomly generated map so let's generate a random map let's see what we get out of that there it is Ooh, this is nice so the blue line is a river the red line is a train and this is the map that we're going to play on so let's load up the game Ooh, this looks interesting. Although if that's all fires raging, then that's not so good. So we'll have to see um, how we can do. Now, there will be desert terrains. There will be fertile lands. There will be forests, as we can see right here. Navigation, I know. Build a city, I know. And place a building, I know. Character, yeah, select a character, I know. All right, we're up here. We have trees around. We have fertile land around. We have iron ore. We have some coal here, so that's good. Um, but I don't want to use this land too much. So we're going to move our cart a bit. I want to start building in the desert because, of course, that's the most useless land for all other things than just living. So why not build the houses there? I think that might be good. All right, let's start rotating this building. I'm going to make it face the uh, this way. All right, there we go. Let's build the town hall. And here we are. We have a bunch of people, 10 pioneers, and uh, three of them will be probably building. The rest will be the laborers that carry all the goods around. And from here on out, we'll have to get going with our town. Now, of course, we need somebody to uh, jack the lumber, or in other words, be the lumberjack. Now, it would be nice, I guess, to get him a bit close to the tree. So let's build a lumberjack right there. We're also going to need somebody to make uh, planks out of all of that. So let's... Uh, I think we can build this pretty close to the uh, to the guy here because we don't need it anywhere else. And I also think that if we place it right here, we can create some sort of a main street here. And I think that could be nice. Ooh, an outhouse. People, of course, need to go to uh, use some of the facilities, I guess. And this is a way to do that. And sometimes I struggle a bit with the buttons. Sorry about that. I don't know if this actually will have a negative effect on the town. Maybe if we place these behind the... Uh... Behind the sawmill, that would be interesting. So it's not on the main street, but it's still close so that they can use the outhouse. No clue whether there will be any negative effects. There's nothing else that we can do yet or not much. We can get a bridge and a warehouse. Oh, that could be interesting. So that we can store some goods. Um, I think I'm going to build the warehouse right here in the middle too. Let's see. I think we should rotate it slightly. Yes. And then I keep a white road here. Then we'll build a warehouse across from the uh, town hall. That would be nice. Ooh, a tribe formed nearby. So we are not alone. We have these Indians, Native Americans, living with us, interestingly enough. Uh, I hope they're friendly. They can be friendly. They can be quite pissed off and start raiding us and stuff like that. It also depends on our behavior. So right now you can see this is our area. We can see the borders of our area. Inside we can build. We can still get outside. Uh, that's no problem. But uh, we can't build inside. But there's somebody at my door. So and I'm back. That. Of course, nobody of you noticed because there's no change here because I paused the game. But I just had to run downstairs and answer the door. Here we are again. Building the lumberjack. There's all the resources going rather fast. So that's good. And at the same time, the laborers will carry all the other goods to the uh, different build sites. So that will be interesting to see how they can do. There's actual building steps here, so I always like that. The uh, guys are really building. You can see a little house icon over their head. Of course, they have no house yet. Problem is, we can't build shacks for them yet. So we have to make find a way to do that, which is build a lumberjack and a sawmill. Then we can start to build houses. We have to do that in time. If we don't, they might just get mad at us. Hey, this guy doesn't wear a shirt. Okay. 
Interesting. It says uh, his clothing is good, but um, <laughs> I don't see his clothing. That's probably why they are good. Oh, there's some crosses here. Did some people die here? Oh, wow. Inter oh, there's more. Seems like people died all over the place here. Or we just started to work on sacred ground. I don't know. Hmm. Hope this is not too bad. All right. We have a lumberjack and one guy is now working. And you can see this big yellow thingy. That's the area where he can be working. We can change that. So we want him to start chopping trees in this area. Now we did that. We can also unlock a new worker slot. It will cost us $250. And then we can put in an extra worker. Now, all right. Now there's no need for that. We have uh, enough logs for this. But uh, later on, that might be a thing, actually. So for now, this is good. All right, we have the outhouse. People can go to uh, to toilet if they want to. Although I don't see a um, real need for that. A shack, a simple house or an apartment house. So we have different, uh, different types of housing that we can get at some point. Just not right now. This person has nothing to do. It's a laborer. He has no weapon. We should be able to see who has a weapon. We see him lighting up here. So our lumberjack has a weapon. So if... At some point, we might get attacked or whatever. We have those people to keep us, or that one person to keep us safe. Probably not good if the Indians start coming for us or something like that. So, might be better off um, getting some weapons at some point. I know we should be able to produce them, but uh, I think we're quite far away from that yet. So, we'll have to uh, make sure that we don't try and go too fast. The resident from Feasterville is homeless. You need more housing. Yes. But to build housing, I need this sawmill first. And it needs to start creating planks for me. So that's why I'm building that. And there we are. All right. Now we unlocked the stonemason. And we can now build housing. Now houses also require three stones. So in order to have a smooth production, I'm going to build the stonemason. Now I have to find some stones. Actually, I did not. Oh, there are stones. Did not really bother to take a look when we started at this point. And there really is not a lot of stone around here. Oh, there's some. Oh, and here's a lot. Oh, there's stone around. Now, let's just build the stone guy. Oh, maybe somewhere down here then. Look at this. This is where the edge of the... Uh, this building is. So then, if we go down here, this should be still part of the street, I guess. So let's build it right there. And now they should be bringing the resources in. Now, what we already saw is that from the lumberjack, they first went to the outhouse, then to the sawmill, started building that. Now they're going to build this. So if I start placing houses here right now, uh, they might just go build those houses first before they will actually start with the stone cutter. And I want the stone cutter first. Although I think I also want a hunter. But I think we can build the hunter on this side. Because then at least we're starting to gather some food. Now you can see there's no workplace around the hunter. We'll just have to tell him where to work, I think. Or he will completely work on its own. I don't know all the details about the game yet. So let's just build him and see what that does. Does not require too many resources, so that should be okay. They're all delivering this already. I think we can easily see. Yeah, we have six laborers right now. We have three builders, I believe. One is a lumberjack... One in the sawmill. Yeah. Oh, then we have two builders, maybe. I don't actually really know how we can see that. There should be a uh, population level. So, yeah, that's what we're going to have. Transport routes, but uh, we're not transporting anywhere. City overview. See, we have two builders, a carpenter, and a lot of laborers, and one lumberjack. Okay, so two builders. That's fine. And this is a trader, but we're not trading anything yet. And I'm not about to start doing that. There's no tilting the screen, so we can just zoom in and out and it will move a bit. But we can't tilt it ourselves. So if you really want to see what the buildings look like, well, this is what the uh, town hall looks like if we take a look at it. See, and there we have the uh, sawmill. Here we have the storage or the warehouse. Can house a lot of goods, so that's nice. And they're bringing in all the stuff for the stonemason. Actually, it can already be built. So they're going to do that. Now they'll bring all the stuff for the hunter. But laborers are also the ones carrying the goods from one place to another. So now laborers are responsible 
for picking up a log here and bringing it to the sawmill. And we can see that there's now three laborers going in here doing that. So we are very dependent on laborers. Having only 10 people doesn't really help. So it will go a long way if we start to build housing. Because if we have plenty of space, there might be extra people incoming. If we don't have space, it will be tough for new people to come in. So let's build a house. Can we squeeze another one in? No. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, we'll build the other houses on this side then. One. And two. Ooh, nice music. A shack offers room for up to three tenants. So with these three houses, we have room for not enough people yet. Only nine. But what we can do, of course, is just build another one. Yeah, this should be about straight. One. And maybe even another one. Why not? Then we really have space for everything. All right. There's no stone in its work area. So what we do now, is we tell it to just go home, go here. Now it turns yellow. And now we can see it can start to work on stones. Maybe this is even closer. I think so. So let's switch it over there. Uh, it's also quite tempting to actually get an extra worker in here. But right now we don't really have those. They are bringing the goods in here though. So then we're going to have the first house. They are building the hunter already. So that should get the food coming in. Then we will need a well at some point too. In order to have some water. The resident is homeless. There are not enough laborers. I know, I know. But the problem is... Ah, here's the other tribe. So we have two tribes. So oh, one is pretty close. Hmm. Oh, that can be interesting. All right. Now we can expand our territory for $5,000. We could automatically arm our residents or buy a settler wagon. Um, I have to tell that if you expand the territory, the Indians will be straight off pissed. I already tried that. They will be pissed and come and raid you. And since we have only one guy with a weapon... That's not a good thing. So let's not go with that. We'll just try and manage um, it within the borders that we have right now. And then later on we can see. Now you would say that these are just all rocks to be picked up that are laying around. I don't think it works that way, but we could try. If we place it here, will it then start to pick up those rocks? I don't think so, but uh, who knows? We'll just leave it right at this now. Just has to get the stones from there. Did it? Oh, it's already carrying in a stone. That's good. That's good. Three, eight, and two. So this can be built. We have a hunter now. Uh, where should it hunt? Oh, I think we can make it hunt in this area. I mean, there's wild animals here, so that should work. I don't want it to go into the forest straight off. Why not? Well, there can be wild animals in the forest, like bears and stuff. We check this. This is a boar. It's friendly. But right in here, there are some stags. That's also not a big problem. There could just be a big wandering bear that will start to attack us. And I kind of want to avoid that. It's already tricky with the lumberjack here because he's also in the forest and he might also just angry a bear and have it coming at us. So need to keep my eyes open for that, actually. But uh, this one should now soon hopefully be bringing in some meat and leather. He is going on the hunt, so that's good. They're building the first shack. And the resources are there for the second. Now they're getting the resources to the third. And, oh, that will house nine of our ten people. Amazing. All right, this one is ready. Three people living there now, so that should be at least three more happy people that will not be annoyed with me for not having a house. Hopefully they'll be pretty happy. I guess the uh, lumberjack is not one of them, though. The hunter has a house now. That's good to see. This one doesn't. Maybe the guys and girls in the sawmill? Signy. Yeah, Signy has a house. This one doesn't have... A ah, this one also has a house. Nice. Now, this house can be built. So, they're starting with that. This house still needs some resources. 
So that should mean six people with a house, then nine people with a house, and then in the end, 12 and even 15. And hopefully we get those extra workers in. Then if we do, I might just get an extra stonemason because this one has to travel quite far to get the stones. Yeah, if you hover over it, you can see that it require it, it gives a certain amount of stone. And um, I don't see that when I hover over this, like this is one stone or something. So I don't think they can pick that up. But also laying here, and it says while it was laying here that it could not pick up any stones. So, But hey, we have one stone in here. That's good. This now has all the stones. We still have five left, apparently. And with the one that we have here... Yeah, four or five. So we just need one more stone to finish all the housing. I'm good with that. Another shack coming up. That means three extra happy people. Then over half our population gets a bit happier. Let's see. And ready. Benui, Louis et Villet. Willet Matters had. Louis McFadden. And Benui Garding. Alright. Enjoy. Ah, they're already starting to work because I guess they have the stuff they need for the foundations. Here come some of those uh, tools. Can they carry two? No, just one. Alright, well, at least they started. We have two stones here now. So we have the stones for all the housing. Yeah, I was wondering what are they doing, but they were probably busy getting the logs from here to the um, sawmill that is now keeping up with wood production. We're not losing any wood anymore, so that's good. That means that we are actually producing nice amounts of wood. Nothing is yet stored into the um, warehouse, but hey, that's okay. We don't have laborers and time to do that. We just get the stuff and bring it straight to where it needs to be. One more plank and this house can be finished. Oh, I hope it can do that. This is nice. He caught something. Very good. And he already has one meat and two hides, so we're getting there. Starting to get extra food now. They'll of course need to eat. I think they'll probably gather some goods to their houses every now and then, so we'll see. Alright, there's the last plank. Come on people, continue the building process. Make the villagers happy. Oh, that would be so nice. Yep, there's another residence, but nobody starts to live there. Oh, interesting. I guess they have to be free to actually say, okay, I want to live there. I think, let's watch this one. Clarence, if he puts that, yep, yeah, now he can say, hey, I want to live there. She's the next, that's her. And then this one is probably the next. Yep, yeah, all right. So we just need room for one more person. We have one homeless person. That's Gary Terry. All right, Gary Terry. We'll try to make you uh, feel home and comfortable soon. What do we need for this? 12 pioneers. So we actually need to grow to unlock the rest of the buildings. That's interesting. What's this? The toolsmith. Ah, then we can get tools. I guess we need mines for that too, but we'll have to see. All right, we have this. So if we want water for our town to actually supply them with a drink every now and then, especially in such a harsh area as this, that might be okay, or that might be good. We need 12 pioneers. Fishing, I don't think we can do that anytime soon. Pig farm also needs 20 pioneers. The woodcutter turns logs into firewood. Oh, that might be an important one to have. All the houses have uh, no firewood yet. I guess there's no need for it right now. But once they start to cook or when they need to survive, they'll probably get firewood. Then we will run out fairly quickly. If they all get two, five houses, then we're already down to 10. So they'll use half in one go to, to get it. So yeah, we need a firewood cutter at some point. I think for now, the stone cutter is actually doing an okay job. It can keep, yeah, it's not completely keeping up with production, but almost the uh, wooden plank guy or the sawmill guy is really keeping up. So that is very good. And I think the, um, if we get extra people in and we can just put one into the stone cutter that will already be very good. What do we need here? One plank and two tools. But I guess these are very busy carrying logs here. Yes, they are. So now they bring the logs towards this guy so we can get to work. What are they going to pick up? Probably these tools. Yes, there they go. Almost slowly starting out of metal parts. So we'll have to start creating metal parts at some point. The forester. The 
toolsmith makes metal parts from iron bars and coal. So we'll have to get into mining. A small coal mine and a small iron mine. But we need settlers for it. Can we get those in time? We also need metal parts for it. So four metal parts just to get this. Then another two to build this. So we need six metal parts already to get the production for metal parts up. So we have to be a bit careful with that. The well also needs, so that's already eight. So then we're almost through our metal parts. So I have to really think about what we're building and why we are building that. Taylor also requires two metal parts. A woodcutter requires two metal parts. The weaving mill requires two metal parts. So I think at some point it requires a sheep farm. Yeah, I think this can make clothing from leather. So that should be good enough. But we'll find out. All right. We now have housing for 12 people. There's one person that didn't have a house and now he does. So I guess from now on there might be new people joining. Or it's just wishful thinking, but I actually hope so. All right. We can see roads being formed as they walk on. So that's nice. And I have to say the pace of the game is quite interesting. I'm just running speed one all the time and it works. It's, it's not... In my opinion, it's not too slow. We can keep up with what is happening. I think the graphics are okay. I mean, it's it's not um, not like you're building with the um, City Skylines 2 or even Ostrif, but it's it's very nice. It's it's good. We'll have to see how the game progresses and what else will be in the game. Ah, now that it's getting dark, we can actually see the lights go on here and there. That's cool. There are not enough laborers. Yeah, I know that. Hey, we are now up to 11. So somebody joined. Ikai, Ikei Kai, a pioneer. He joined. Cool. All right. So we have somebody extra. I think we need one more. Ooh, an undertaker and a cemetery. Whoopsie. <laughs> That's cool. Stable. A doctor. Ooh, that might be something we need at some point. Nice. I think we need to start with a well, though. Get some water into town. And we're going to need a lot of stone. So I am actually going to buy this and put somebody else in there, too. Uh, we'll have four laborers free for a bit. But at least we're going to get extra stones because uh, we need that extra stone. What you can also do, if you really need to, is assign a carrier to a certain building. And it will just be the one that actually carries that. All right, new building unlocked at the well. Um, we can see right here, if you place it here, there's only 16 water. That's bad. If we place it somewhere here, there's like 699 water. I don't know what happens if we go further up, but I think we can find something of a sweet spot. And I think 699 actually was kind of a sweet spot that we had here. 648, 699. Excellent. I think that's the most. It's not the most ideal place, but I don't care. As long as it's uh, taking the water out. And maybe if the water is all completely out, we can take it away anyway. What are you? Horse owner. Terrell Swainy. Oh, does he live in my village? Or will he join us? <sighs> a horse owner. He has a horse. Terrell Swainy joins our village and he has a horse. Ah, we can now see they brought in the firewood. Interesting. We now have to get a firewood guy. I guess place him in close to the where all the other stuff is might be interesting. So let's place that here. But uh, now we have a man with a horse. Oh, two actually. They come in with a horse. Oh, that's cool. I don't know. Do we have to like take care of the horse or something? I don't really know. There's a lot I don't know about the game. So if you do know stuff about the game, if you have tips, if you t can tell me what to do, please do. That will be very good. I think I'm going to build a doctor, though, because I don't know. Kind of feels good to have a doctor. All right, let's build it. What is your problem? Ah, we have one guy that's not doing anything. All right. Um, what if I assign you to this? The working area. There he goes. Now he's starting to work. You can go all the way there. And then we really get the extra stone in. We have everything in here. So that can be built. I think we should start to uh, buy some metal parts. It's costly. 
10. Yeah, let's try and keep 10. Okay, let's buy some metal parts. We have the money now, so why not? We actually have a positive balance. I don't know why, but we seem to have a positive balance. So that is a good thing. And here we're going to get a well and a woodcutter. That should be interesting. And we have room for 12 people once this house is done. And that will be very good too. Or 15. So that's three extra people. One will be a doctor, I think. One can be in the woodcutter. I don't think the well actually needs a full-time worker. But I don't know. So hopefully it will um, help out once this house is done. To ensure that we really get the extra people in. But we also have to think about expanding again already. To have more housing. But I think right now with 12 people... It might be good to make sure that they stay alive and nothing bad happens to them. So that might be the next thing to just do. All right, we have no stones. The stones are going to the um, well, so we'll have to wait. In the meantime, this has a lot of logs that can go here. This is completely filled up with planks, so they can take the planks now. That's nice, so they can work on that pretty quickly, I think. Lots of planks to be delivered here, so that will take very long. Maybe I should prioritize the uh, doctor or the firewood guy. That could also be good. All right, 12 people. Another house is done. So show me more people. At least I would like that. Let's see what else. We can build an undertaker, 15 wooden planks, two metal parts and a cemetery. Okay, this is a fixed size. I think we're going to need it um, because at some point... We will lose people either through animal attacks, which can basically happen at any time, or because the Indians will stop by and say, hi, we don't like you, and they start killing us off. Although then we might just lose the entire village. So we'll have to see how that goes. All right, here we see we have everything except the two stones. So far, we're luckily not drinking the water yet. Uh, but as soon as they get thirsty, they will want to drink. So that's an interesting thing. We have some food. Not too much, but we have some food. Um, I don't know if this is still the smartest area for the hunter to be going to. There's some game here. Or maybe there's some animals out here. Seems to also be some stuff that we might be able to gather later on. That could also be very cool. New building available. Oh, what's now available to us? The doctor we already have. We now have... Ah, the tailor. Well, not going to make clothing yet. But uh, we might do that at some point. For now, we'll let things just be as they are. Ah, seven stones. Just one more needs to come in. Are they picking that up already? I hope somebody will soon start to pick that up. That will be helpful. We've got another horse in. And two extra people. That means seven laborers. That's a great amount. Should we just attach a carrier guy to the lumberjack or something? Could be interesting. Oh, just... Oh, this has everything. So they can now build the woodcutter. We can finally start to produce some firewood. And is the last stone... No, the last stone is not incoming yet. Here we have the doctor. New building available again. What's now available? Ooh, the train station. Offers you contracts that you can do for money. Can only be built on existing rails. Okay, so then we'll have to go all the way to the rail track. So that might be a bit tough to do. Here's another stone incoming. And I think this mister is going to get a stone. Or he works there. But I think he's a laborer. And he's, yeah, he's a laborer. So he's going to pick up a stone. And then we can probably finish the well. And we get the doctor up soon. No, that's going relatively quickly. This is almost out of logs, though. So I'm going to assign one carrier to this building for now. Let them just carry all the logs so that this guy can keep working and working and working. I think that would be nice. We can also upgrade the warehouse, by the way. Oh, what's happened? What happened? Three Winchesters? Uh, why did I get all those weapons? I think the city is on 
automatically arm, manually arm residents. No, automatically arm. I think we should automatically arm them. I don't know. We can't really see what they're doing. But I'm kind of hoping that they will get our firearm themselves. All right, we have horses. Will they? Yep, they now pick up a firearm. Oh, that's good. So now we are better protected because we have some weapons. Great. Some people now can actually defend our village. All right, we have a hunter that can't work because its zone is out of stuff. Let's just go right over here then. Because there's stuff that you can hunt in there. We have... The woodcutter. Oh, almost. Come on. Finish the building. Where are you guys? This one can be built too. Two buildings nearly done and there's no builder in sight. How special is that? All right. They're all going to get logs now. So they're busy with that. All of a sudden they think, oh, maybe we should all get a log. One, two, three, four, five. Still nothing in the warehouse. But, ah, there's some stuff incoming because we finally have the time to do that. I guess this... Yep, just stones. There comes another stone. Um, we have eight laborers now. So how, what does it cost? Another 250. Yeah, we have that. I'm going to get extra stone workers. We really need them. And then I guess one of the things next up should be an extra house again. We need to grow anyway if we want to get to a point where we can have extra food. Uh, oh, we have to expand this if we want to get a bigger territory. All right. This third worker has no zone to work in. Let's go over there then. Oh, wow. Look at these big bison. Uh, let's build houses here then. Let's just go rotate them the other way. So that I can see whether it's a bit straight or not. Yes. And then we'll build one right here. And another one right there. I have no clue what the best way is to, to fill the land and stuff. So I don't know how to deal with that. I also don't really know how to interact with these people. I don't think there's an easy way that I can just send somebody over or something. Luckily, we do have guns now and we have horses. So that would be interesting. And we have a map. Well, that's nice. Population diplomacy. Oh, these don't really like us. Pay tribute, a thousand. Will that like make them like us more? Ah, okay, a little bit. We're not trading with them. I'm not going to pay more tribute because we don't have the money for it. I want to save my money. Here we have the woodcutter still not ready. Although it has all the stuff. This one, same. I guess because we prioritized the doctor, maybe. No, we did not prioritize the doctor. Where are my builders? Are they out of tools, maybe? I don't know. How does that work? I should be able to check my people and see what their jobs are. Overview? No, where's the overview that we can have here? Let's see. Oh, maybe they're just resting. He is a builder and he's a builder. All right, we'll see. We'll see. They should probably get to work at some point. And if not, then we have a problem. <laughs> ah, they, here he is. Did he finish the doctor yet? No. Oh, the doctor still needs stone. So he can't finish the doctor. But these two can go here and finish this. Ah, they were standing at the doctor's building it further and further. But now they need two stones in there. This guy. Oh, wow. He's big. He's going to get. Wow. Just lifts up the big stone like it's nothing. Very good. And we need stones for this too. Getting more and more planks. That's great. And here we have the woodcutter. That can now start to cut wood. Hopefully this trader will get us some extra tools. The well is up. Yep, it also needs a worker. Okay, but at least we are now producing new um, water. We are still increasing our amount of meat. I love that because that's really important to have. Local storage is full. Can we put meat and stuff... In the, yeah, we can put meat in the storage. So I guess uh, we need to assign a carrier to this. And make sure that meat and stuff gets carried out. Or am I missing something? And do we need to do something with the meat? I don't think so. 
I can just eat it. So that should be okay. We can get a butcher though. But that makes meat from leather and limestone. So yeah, that's not needed. Stable. The stable serves the purpose of lodging the horses in town. Horses without lodging die of hunger after a while. Oh. Oops. Uh, I guess we need to get working on a stable at some point. For all those nice horses that we have there. Ah, maybe if we rotate this it will fit in the area here. Yes, it does. Cool. But do I want it where the... Uh, Houses are like that, or do we want to put it somewhere else? Maybe I want to put it right here. Uh, at the next to to the town hall. That could actually be a good spot. There it is. All right, somebody at the door again, so I have to. And run. I'm back again. One of those days that little one is in school, and some kids are home early, and they try to pick her up. To play outside. Let's see, another house gets done, although we still need a stone. We have a doctor now. I don't think we have a lot of laborers left. No, only five, so we need the houses. All right, very good. And it has everything now, so we can finish this house. Three extra people. I like it. I must say, I like the pace of this game. It's interesting. We um, we can do quite okay. Ah, we can now store some stuff here. I think we can get this carrier out. That doesn't need to be only serving that building anymore. And uh, yep, they're bringing all the goods in here. That's nice. A lot of love laborers. I know, I know. I'm trying to work on that. If they actually finish this house, we'll be done. This house still needs planks and stone, so that's not going to be finished. But this one is... That can give us extra people. Okay, well, some houses have firewood and we are still up to 20, so that works as well. I think this all looks very good. Well, we made a start with this uh, funny little game. I think we can uh, squeeze a few episodes out of this because there's still plenty of work to do. And it's fun, I say. So um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you have not done so, please subscribe to my channel. Leave all your comments in the comment section. I will respond to them. And then, of course, I hope to see you in a brand new video. Thank you so much and bye bye.